I'm David Womble. I own Womble Heating and Air Conditioning in Pulaski, Tennessee. We repair and replace central heating and air conditioning systems. To get into this field, I went to the Tennessee TCAT here in Giles County for approximately 18 months after finishing high school. Yeah, the heating and air conditioning business is definitely never going away. We are all spoiled to being comfortable at all times. The salary range for an HVAC field would be from 20 to 50 plus thousand. If you wanted to work as a helper, you would be at the $20,000 range. If you complete the TCAT program and become a service technician, you can easily make up to $50,000 per year. What I like about the heating and air conditioning business is I'm not locked down in one location. We are continually going from one house to another repairing or servicing central units. Some people like working inside in an office that was not for me. To be successful in the heating and air conditioning business, you have to provide customer service and you have to enjoy working with customers even the customers that are hot and unhappy at times. As with any field, there are times when working for a big company is the correct path. When you own your own company like I do, not only do you have to take care of the actual physical work of repairing the central units, you also have to take care of the book work, the taxes, the insurance, and all that go along with running your own business. If you do not take care of the back end of the business, it doesn't matter how good you are at performing the work. At Womble Heating and Air, I have two other service technicians who work for me. Both of them are graduates of the local TCAT program. When I'm looking to hire an individual, the local TCAT is my first stop because I like to hire people with experience and training in the field. In the heating and air conditioning business, we're constantly working year round. But in the hottest times and the coldest times, you can expect to work overtime hours and weekends. But that is offset by the spring and the fall when normally a 40 hour work week will get the work done. The heating and air conditioning business is a customer service oriented business. If we don't take care of our customers, someone else will. That means you may miss ball games. You may have to take shorter vacations, but in the end, if you choose this field, do well with it, you can provide for your family. I choose to have my business in Giles County because this is where I was raised, this is where my family is, and this is where I raised my family. To be successful in the heating and air conditioning field, you have to have a good knowledge of electricity. So any courses you can take which teach you anything about electricity will be beneficial. I'm actually a licensed electrician, although I do not wire houses or that type of work, but I have to have the electrical license for my HVAC business. Regardless of what field you choose, dedication and attention to detail will be the key to your success.